Um, long thumb. I'll catch you up with my long fingernail. <laughs> and I'm Mark Word, here with my friend Jonathan Beaver. Hello, this is Jonathan Beaver with the story of Tree Ori Three, the living national Christmas tree. I don't know what that is, it's a shrubbery. Here we choose from the trees and cart them around. Why is that girl in the cart? Is there something wrong with her? I believe there is something wrong with her. She is disabled and she needs help. I want to see her fall out of the cart. I want to see her fall out of the cart too. That would be funny. I don't think she's going to fall. She needs help walking, you know. There's something wrong with her. Oh, that's not funny. Well, let's get back to the tree then, shall we? Here's a beautiful bald man with a tree, and he's going to cut it down. Look how he ably uses his saw in order to chop it away. Sawing and throwing the keys to the tree. Here, hold these. Um, okay. Ow, what's that? Is that cutting? I think there was an earthquake, and this is one of the victims. Lifeless and still. And still they cut, cutting and cutting away. Cutting away to the girl who's not dead. Hooray! Um, who's that? I thought she was in the picture taker thing with the camera on. Ow. What are they doing? Are they cutting? I like to cut things with my long thumb. Um, I see. Well, maybe perhaps later you can cut something. But not today. Not today anyway. That was some fast sawing. And now the moment of truth arrives. This is where it all pays off as the mighty oak falls to the ground silently. That was really quite lovely as we watch it again in super slow motion. Now, shall we continue with the tree story? This tree shall be brought to the nation's capital and it will be displayed in front of all the human beings who want to see it. One in particular is a man who is being very ill. He's so tired <laughs> I think he might throw up. Oh dear. Um, okay, so we took a picture. It's very nice, and that's another nice picture. Although they really didn't do anything to help cut the tree down, did they? No, they didn't do anything. They're stupid. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay. I think the only stupid one is the bald man who did most of the work and got no credit. Yeah, he's stupid. Um, yeah, I think he is stupid. And they marched off into the sunset, alone. I like shaking. Shake, 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 shake it. <laughs> um, let's not be too Beavis-like, shall we? Okay, I'm Long Thumb, and I like cutting things. <laughs> okay. At any rate, now we see the turbine where the jet engine begins to trim the tree to its natural beauty and size. And it will come out in the shape of the traditional United States Christmas tree ornament that is likely to be established for the eternity of time. And one day we shall see its finished product. A tree wrapped in twine and placed on a car. An automobile made in Siberia. Well, there it is. It is quite lovely. Christmas 2011. We're I don't want to see her back. Annual first and last I wouldn't mind. Tree. I won't get your butt. 
And so there we have the traditional watering of the tree. A normal Christmas tree needs to be watered only once and it will survive for years. Ha! I see a crap. <laughs> What's that elf doing up there on the ladder? That's not an elf. That's one of the magi. What's that one doing? Oh, same one. Um, 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 oh, perhaps you shouldn't have seen that. And now the lighting at the National Cathedral of Trees, the important muddy chicken dance. Do you have any friends? Because I'd like to know what you do with your friends. The other fingers. They don't want to play with me because I'll cut them up.